Hey everybody, Jake here and welcome to the hobby. In today's video, we are going to open up and review a Battle Styles Elite Trainer box. Hopefully this video can help you make an informed decision on whether you want one of these boxes or not. The Battle Styles Elite Trainer Box comes in two varieties, the red Single Strike Urshifu as well as the blue uh, Rapid Strike Urshifu. Today we're going to open up the Single Strike Urshifu ETB. The two boxes come with the same amount of packs, sleeves, dices, and so forth. The only difference being the aesthetic design of the box, the decks, and the sleeves, whether you want it in red or blue is totally cool. These boxes cost $40 retail. Stores will be seeing multiple restocks of these Elite Trainer boxes, so definitely keep your eyes open. Over the year, Elite Trainer boxes have definitely become some of the most collectible products inside of the Pokemon card hobby. And in general, it's because of how aesthetically pleasing some of the designs are. People enjoy stacking Elite Trainer boxes. As well, Elite Trainer boxes make great time capsules showing off all of the great cards and products inside of every single set. So collecting one Elite Trainer box from every single set is a very common practice for a lot of collector. You start off with the trainer guide, which covers every single card from the set. You can see all the full art trainer cards, all of the hyper rare card. The battle style set by itself is an honestly very solid set, very middle of the road. Certainly not some of the most hype set we've seen, which is say Shining Fates, Hidden Fates, and Champion's Path, and maybe even Vivid Voltage. But in general, this set is really solid. There's nothing really wrong with it. It's a great set whether you're playing the TCG or if you're just another collector, there's plenty of cards from this set to collect. You get eight booster packs from inside your Elite Trainer box, a little game rule package if you want to know how to play the TCG. You get yourself a package of energy, some dividers for your cards, a code card for the online version of the trading card game as well as a package of sleeves. I think there should be some dice left in here and there are. These dice are very cool at first but over time I've realized that I don't like these dices very much and the big reason for them is that they're really only useful for the TCG and I guess it makes sense because some of the Pokemon inside of the trading card game have ridiculous amounts of health right now. We have many cards with over 200 HP, so it just makes sense to change the dice from being one through six, like a normal dice, to uh, all the way up to like 180 for some of the die. We do one, two, threes at the front. Let's toss that energy. And I'm sure I'm gonna get very much obliterated in the comment for saying the word dices instead of die. It's a common dialect thing where I'm from. Unfortunately, we got a tool jammer holographic reverse as well as a slazzle rare. What are some of the best pulls from this set? Some of the best pulls are going to be all the alternative art Pokemon card, particularly uh, Empoleon V as well as Tyranitar V, both of those alternative arts are very popular, as well as the full art trainer cards are very popular. And there are two versions of every single trainer card, I believe. A hyper rare version, as well as a full art regular rare version. And honestly, they're both extremely collectible. The prices on both are very similar. It just depends on whether you prefer the hyper rare, rainbow rare version, or the regular full art version. They're pretty much comes down to aesthetic. Personally, I prefer the regular full art version. I just enjoy seeing the colors more. And the rainbow rare versions, I just find the colors to be too messy. It can sometimes be challenging for me to even tell which trainer card it is because of how meshed up the art look. Uh, you get eight booster packs inside of your Elite Trainer box, which can be a little bit hit or miss. I have had people message me and say, hey, I opened up an Elite Trainer box and I got zero ultra rare. Did I, um, was it a mistake? And it's not really a mistake with only eight booster packs. Your odds are you will get two to three ultra rares or hollow rares at the very least. You will get two to three hits. Uh, we got ourselves the Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX. I pulled this card 
on my last booster box review of Battle Styles. So yeah, very solid card. I think that one is one of the more playable one. I do think Rapid Strike is more competitive than Single Strike. So it really comes down to, I guess, if you enjoy the TCG or not. But if you prefer the color red, then just go with Single Strike. If you prefer the color blue when it comes to your sleeves or your box design, then just pick up the other one. We do three to the front, let's toss that energy. So yeah, with only eight booster pack, it is possible, albeit unlikely, that you get zero hits. I just want you to be aware that that is a potential, and I know people, as well as me being one of them, who has gone a, um, an Elite Trainer box before with zero hits. It's happened multiple times to me on video, so I do know it's possible. We got the Flapple V, the Apple Pokemon. A couple of people have messaged me and said that, hey, Jake, you said that there's no banana Pokemon. There is, it's Tropius and I stand corrected. That is definitely true. We do have a banana Pokemon and we do have a apple Pokemon. So do we consider Alcremie a strawberry Pokemon? That is, we're really going through all the fruits here. Uh, let's toss that energy and see what we get inside of our next booster pack. So we've gotten two hits. That's pretty good. If you get two hits from your Elite Trainer box, I'd be happy. That is very dandy. Any more than that, and you're looking at icing on the cake. Steelix is a hollow rare. I haven't seen this card yet, and that is considered a hit. If you see a hollow rare, it's considered a hit. So we've gotten three hits from our Elite Trainer box. I'm not gonna expect any more than that. That is pretty much about as good as you're gonna get. Are these good to keep sealed? Yes, Elite Trainer Boxes do rise in value over the year. I've done some statistics on it, some data looking at the historicals on past Elite Trainer Boxes, and they perform exceptionally well. If you want to hold your Elite Trainer Boxes for five years, I think you'll do absolutely fine having it on display, having it look cool on your shelf, there's plenty that you can do outside of simply opening up your Elite Trainer Box. One of the best performing Elite Trainer Box is going to be the Team Up Elite Trainer Box. That thing has really skyrocketed in value, and there's a couple of reasons for that. Uh, honestly, it really comes down to luck. In general, if you collect one of every single Elite Trainer Box, you're going to do absolutely fine. You're going to have a really solid Pokemon card collection by the end of the year. It's going to have like, you're going to have like, what, six Elite Trainer Boxes by the end of the year? You're going to be absolutely dandy. The reason why the Team Up Elite Trainer Box is so gosh darn expensive, or at least one of the reasons in my mind, is that it was never reprinted. Team Up was a very scarce set. We don't really know the full reason behind it, but the Pokemon company just never really reprinted Elite, uh, the Team Up Elite Trainer Box. So it's gone up significantly in value. Team Up is a very scarce set in general. It's in very few product. And it's a very popular set, so those two reasons really add up to its value. We have the Rapid Strike Energy Holographic Reverse, and this card actually looks really cool. You see right on top, it that's a new design. I haven't seen that before. The Holographic Fists, those are cool. I've never seen the Fighting Energy be holographic like that. That is a cool design. I think that they're doing a great job of mixing it up, adding some new printing technology with their uh, new print runs. Every single Pokemon print run, the Pokemon company is constantly improving themselves on doing different designs, which I think is very cool. We uh, have the code card right there. We do one, two, three to the front. Let's toss that energy and move on to our final booster pack. How good is Battle Styles? Like I said, a very middle of the road set. If you want to collect some cards for the TCG, this is a good option. If you want to collect the booster box, this is a good option as well. This set is nothing to write home about, but certainly it's going to be a little bit enjoyable for sure. If you want to have both the Rapid Strike and the Single Strike Elite Trainer box on your shelf, they're going to look great right next to each other. The Urshifu's look fierce and cool. Oh yeah, if you were to break apart your Elite Trainer box packaging, it actually comes apart to become 
a very cool design of all of the different pack art. We got ourselves Empoleon, Tyranitar, as well as Rapid Strike and Single Strike Urshifu. If you're a fan of breaking apart Elite Trainer boxes, cracking them open for their packs, then this is a nice little bonus. I do think these are cool for display, especially if you add up a lot of these from all the different set. It can be a very awesome looking collage. All right, everybody, that's the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you find one of these on a store shelf at retail price for $40, then it might be worth the pickup, whether it be the Rapid Strike or the Single Strike style Elite Trainer Box. Definitely be wary of people charging more than $40. This item is constantly being restocked over the next couple of months, so I do not expect higher resale price to stick for this elite trainer box so definitely check it out and hopefully you can find one for yourself thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time